나는 오늘 코로나를 이기기 위해 대한민국 국민이 선택한 모두를 위한 자유의 길을 소개하고자 합니다. 나의 안전을 위해 이웃의 안전을 먼저 지켰습니다. 자발적으로 마스크를 착용하고 사회적 거리두기에 적극 참여했습니다. 방역의 주체가 되어준 국민들 덕분에 개방성, 투명성, 민주성의 3대 원칙이 힘을 발휘할 수 있었습니다. The speech was pre-taped and played at the Forum of Health Ministers, which is the decision-making body of the World Health Organization. This speech became the first ever speech delivered by a sitting South Korean president. It came as Korea has gained international recognition for its successful response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The president pointed out, however, that South Korea is still far from complete triumph over the virus amid sporadic cluster infections. 한국이 코로나에 아직 완전히 승리한 것은 아닙니다. 또한 국외에서 계속되고 있는 세계적인 대유행이 여전히 위협적입니다. 국제사회가 모두를 위한 자유의 가치를 더욱 굳게 공유한다면 우리는 지금의 위기 극복을 앞당기고 포스트 코로나 시대의 희망을 더 크게 키울 수 있을 것이라고 믿습니다. South Korea is in fact showing clear signs of slowdown in the number of new coronavirus cases. According to KCDC, South Korea reported 13 more cases of the coronavirus Tuesday with a slowdown in the recent nightclub linked infections. The recovery rate of patients infected with the new virus reached nearly 90% in South Korea almost four months after the country reported its first case. U.S. forces Korea on Monday will ease quarantine restrictions this week for all areas but Seoul and nearby regions, allowing service members to dine at restaurants and conduct off-base activities except visiting bars and clubs. It looks like things are slowly returning normal in South Korea, but we must cooperate together until we achieve the global success against the COVID-19.